Hey guys, welcome to the ninth lecture of the DIP series. This is Anushree and today I am going to explain logarithmic transformation and power law transformation. So if you haven't watched the previous videos yet, then kindly do so. Watch those videos before watching these ones. So now logarithmic transformation, the formula for it is S is equal to C of log 1 plus R, where S represents the pixel values of the output image and R represents the pixel values of the input image. Okay, And C is a constant and it is assumed that R is greater than or equal to 0. Now suppose we have an image here. Okay, And for this image, if we have to calculate L, then for that we will take the greatest value. What is the greatest value in this one? It is 120. Right? So now, uh, if we need to calculate n, which is the number of bits, then what we can do is, we, we can represent these pixel values as powers of 2. Okay, so now, if we take 2 raised to 7, it is 128. Now, 120 is less than 128, right? It lies within the range 0 to 128. Right? So that is why what we'll do is we'll take L as 128 which will give us N as 7. How? Because L is equal to 2 raised to N. So 2 raised to 7 which is 128. Right? This we had studied in our previous lectures. So now uh, we have this image and we have to calculate the logarithmic transformation for C equal to 1 and C equal to L by log 10 of 1 plus L. Now we take the first case where C is equal to 1 and we will take the R values. Okay, These all are the individual pixel values which we had and we will calculate the S values for each of these R values. So S is equal to, we have the formula S is equal to C of log 1 plus r, right? So here c is equal to 1. So it will be log of 1 plus r. So this is what we have done for each of these values. s is equal to 1 into log of 1 plus 110. So which is log of 111 or 2.04. Now this we round off to 2. Okay, this again we round off to 2. Similarly, for 90 it is s is equal to 1 into log of 1 plus 90 or log of 91. So this again we rounded off to 2. This will also be rounded off to 2. 2. 2 and this is 2. So we will calculate uh, using this formula for each of these r values and at the end what we will get is so for our output image, we just write the corresponding values. For 110, the S value is 2.04 or 2. So we just write it 2. For 120, the value is 2.08, which is also 2. And if we look at all of these formulas, sorry, all of these values, then the answer is 2. So our output image would consist of twos. This is our output image. Now the next case is for c is equal to l by log to the base 10 1 plus l. What was our l value? It was 128. Right? So we'll calculate 128 by log to the base 10 1 plus 128 or it will be 128 by log of 129 right which will be around 60.66 now this value we round it off to 61 and for calculating the output matrix what we do is we take the 61 
and we'll multiply it with each of these values okay we'll multiply 61 with 2.04 to get the first value of the output matrix and then similarly we'll uh, multiply with each of these values to get the output matrix so when we write it down we get it something like this 61 into 2.04 61 into 2.08 and so on okay so these are the corresponding values which we had got from our calculations and one thing to note down here is that we are not calculating 61 into this 2 okay why are we not multiplying with these values because we want to get a more precise and accurate image at the end once we do the calculations we'll get this image okay and when we round off the values when we round off each of these pixel values then this is what we'll get and this will be our output image okay so this was logarithmic transformation next we have power law transformation the formula for which is s is equal to c into r raised to gamma where c and gamma are positive constants now given c is equal to 1 and gamma is equal to 0.2 calculate for this input image we have taken the same image here which we had used before now to calculate the power law transformation what we'll do is we'll take each of these pixel values and we'll calculate using this formula so our formula is s is equal to c into r raised to gamma c value is 1 and gamma value is 0.2 so we'll take 1 into r raised to 0.2 or r raised to 0.2 will be our s value so instead of r we'll substi substitute these pixel values now we have taken all the pixel values here r values and we have calculated s for each of these values okay and then the values which we got we have rounded them off and these are the values which we got once we write them down we'll get this following output image okay three three two 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 three two two three so this is our output image which we got from power law transformation okay and that was it for this lecture i will see you in the next one